Hi beauties, it's me Evie and I just wanted to come and make a little video and express my Christmas wishes and Christmas blessings. I've been so blessed this year. I'm walking again and maybe not that much but I am at least walking. Um, my health is held up pretty decent. I've had some some issues, but they're working themselves out. And I just feel blessed to have a roof over my head, food in my tummy, and all of you out there supporting me, watching my videos, and just helping me feel more alive. And I cannot express how appreciative I am of that. Um, I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. It was mine and my grandma's holiday. And we would always watch White Christmas. And that meant so much to me to just share that time with her. And then after she passed, my best friend brought me, bought me a snow globe with the White Christmas, Ben Crosby, and the sisters in it and I've kept it with me and that's always part of my Christmas decor we had other traditions like always buying a poinsettia trying so hard to keep it living during the year but it always seems to fail um, we would always eat dinner at the table and that was like one of the only times during the year that we would all be able to sit down and have a meal because like our everybody's schedules were so different and um i really loved the holidays we'd always use the fine china and uh, my, we had silverware back then and we never used the silver silverware until Christmas and Thanksgiving and I insisted. I even volunteered to wash it and buff it and put it away because I just loved using it so much. I mean, it used the, the, um, the china for a long, long time just never had the occasion to use it but I have it and one day I'll use it um, Christmas was just a good time of year for me we'd always decorate on Thanksgiving or the day after we'd always take down on New Year's Eve Christmas morning I would always watch the parade I watched it until I guess I was a teenager, um, you know, I would just watch it every year. We would have either pancakes or um, cinnamon rolls and bacon. My grandpa would go out and visit his congregation and then come home and we would have our evening meal. We would eat it like from like between two and five. And then we would just have leftovers later on if we were hungry. And we had so many casseroles, y'all. It's been kind of a difficult time this holiday for me, but I am trying so hard to remember all the beautiful things I have in my mind to remind me why I love Christmas so much. I thought I would share one of my favorite Christmas stories about my life. We were not a wealthy family. My grandfather was a minister and he built houses and my mom was a school teacher. And sometimes we just did not have the finances to do certain things. Well, this one year, Christmas stuff got put out, 
And I literally went crazy in the store over this stuffed dog. It had big fluffy ears and long hanging legs and it had a sweater on. I loved him so much. And every time I would go to our Walmart, I would like dig into the big square bend and put him at the very bottom. And then like when they moved him to a shelf, I put him to the very back. Cause like we went there every day. And at some point, someone saw me carrying this dog around or, or talking to my mom about it, negotiating, you know, whatever the, I don't even know. I don't even know. But somehow someone saw me with this dog and they decided that I deserved to have it and I needed it. Well, I don't know if they did know that we didn't have the money. I don't know if they knew that I wouldn't have a Christmas this year. I, I don't know. I never knew where it come from, but the story was told to me that it showed up on our front porch and it was wrapped and it said to me and I opened it on Chris. Well, probably no, I probably did not. Hmm. So we always opened presents on Christmas Eve and this particular time, I think we did in fact open on Christmas Eve and I had maybe one or two gifts from, you know, somebody under the tree like aunts or uncles or something and then from like my grandma I had a little doll that I wanted that she wanted me to have and then that was about it so my great aunts and uncles they always bought me like shampoo and deodorant and um things that I could use like that or candy. So those were the types of gifts that were under the tree that year for me. And then the baby doll. So the next morning when I woke up, my mom was like, there's a package for you. And so I opened it and it was this dog and I cried and I cried and I cried. And I begged my mom to tell me who brought it to me or who gave it to me. And she was just like, it's Santa, Santa brought it. And I was like, there's no Santa. Cause I was getting older. And um, she's like, there may not be a little red man flying around or there may be, she said, but the spirit of Santa is very much alive. And why we still believe in Santa as an adult is because of things like this. People, they do things for people like seeing a little girl walking around the store with a dog that she can't have and then going back and hiding it so maybe the next time she could get it or at least visit it in the store. She's like, Santa, the spirit of Santa is all around us. And that's what, you know, because I was raised very Christian, the story did have a twist to it to bring it to the religious aspect. And she's like, it seems like Santa was developed around the idea of Jesus and the things that he gave us and the, the thoughtfulness and the kindness and the miracles that can happen. And she's like, we of course believe in Jesus and that he was born on Christmas so that he could become the ultimate present for all of us and 
I think that it's a beautiful sentiment and I'm glad that I was raised in a Christian home. And I believe fully to this day that Jesus does work miracles. We need to have the faith and we need to have the compassion and the little bit of magic in our hearts. As I hope no matter what you believe, whether you believe in Santa or not, whether you believe in Jesus or not, I hope that you have the best Christmas ever. It's blessed in so many ways. And, and if you're alone this Christmas, just think of me and I'll be there with you. Merry Christmas. And again, thank you all for loving me and supporting me. I appreciate it so much. From my house to yours, all the love in the world. Merry Christmas.